But then in May of 2019, that's when you actually testified in the trial against uh, Eugene Castell. I don't know the date, but they did bring me in, yes. Okay. And you actually talked about the current leadership of the Lucchese and the whole structure. The in structure, that case. correct. You actually got on the stand? Sh sure. How did it feel to be a made man? You take this oath saying you'll never do this. You know that the penalty for this is death. And now you're publicly getting on the stand and breaking everything that you signed up for. Well, the people that you were speaking about that put these rules into place, and it was well before my time, um, you know, followed the rules. The, the present day of the guys that put the false wire on me broke the rules. So you're talking about one rule, right, where you're not supposed to speak right, about this organization. Yet the organization and its members broke all the other rules. So, um, you know, I would like to ask them how they felt. <laughs> I felt that they should have just let me walk away. It was a mistake. And it was a big mistake on their part. Um, for myself, you know, how did I feel going there, it's not a great feeling. It wasn't a, a feeling of revenge. It's a sickening feeling to me, having to go through that. Right, because you're having to face the guys that you once called brother. And they called me brother, yes. Yeah. And these are the same brothers that put a false rumor on me that could have got me killed. Well, one of the things that you testified about was that that the boss of the Lucchese, Vic uh, Musso, who was doing life in prison, Correct. sent a letter to the underboss, Stephen Crea, uh, that said that uh, a Brooklyn-based mobster, uh, Michael Big Mike DeSantis, would take over as acting boss, uh, replacing Matthew Madonna. And what you had also said was that if he refused to step aside that there was a hit that was planned against the captain and a bunch of other members uh, in the Bronx. Um, not exactly. That's not, not the exact way that it went down. What had happened was we had a void in the administration because of arrest. So there was positions that were going to be empty. And we knew those positions were going to be filled by members of the Bronx. The Lucchese's were a Brooklyn family that was now became a Bronx family, um, as far as the administration of the family went. And, you know, a bunch of us got together and it was decided that the Brooklyn faction and guys that used to belong to the Brooklyn faction prior to me, years ago, we're going to make a move to take over the family. Um, a letter was eventually sent to Vic, had it be in code. I didn't see the letter. And an approval was sent back of this. There was no mention of a hit list. That's inaccurate. Uh, I'd seen and read things where they said there was a hit list. That's inaccurate. Where that comes from was conversations amongst each other with us and basically saying we hope it goes peacefully in the event that it doesn't we were prepared to deal with the guys from the Bronx 